Welcome to the first of the lunches, 12 and 24, no gym, no problem workout. Our workout today is going to incorporate 12 different movements. Six of them are going to be cardio based and six of them are going to be strength based. Each movement that we do will be in a one minute interval and we'll revisit the sequence a second time through so that we end up with our 24 minute segment. Please try to remember and give yourself 30 minutes of time to complete the workout so that you've got time for a warm up, maybe jogging on the spot or walking. Um, and a stretch to finish things off as well. So our first block of training today is going to be a one minute round of squats versus a one minute round of uh, bench kicks. So it'll be a strength component versus a cardio component. Um, we're going to get right into it. So take your feet apart, drive your weight into your heels, keep your chest up, and then sit back and let the glutes find a bench and come all the way back up again. Weight still driving through the heels as you come up to the top. Yeah, Tommy's going to keep going with just the basic squat movement and for those that are a little bit more advanced looking for more challenge I'm going to show you how to create that extra challenge by doing a single leg squat movement. Yeah, now when you're doing this movement you want to watch that your knee stays tracking in line with the hip. The tendency is for it to cave towards the midline of the body. Yeah, of course we want to balance the sides. So halfway through your round you're taking on the challenge, you're gonna to wanna to switch legs. Yeah, okay, remember to keep your head up, chest up, core nice and tight. So we wanna show two different levels, uh, the low impact variation, which Tommy's gonna to show, which is just high knees. So on the spot, just stepping up and down. So he's getting his heart rate up, that's really easy on his joints. I'm gonna show the higher impact version, where you're bringing your feet up to the bench. Both of these, we want to keep our head up, we want to keep our chest up, shoulders back. And if you want to pick it up a little bit more, find some speed. Block two of our training program, we're going to be working on push-ups versus step-ups. Uh, we're going to have high impact, low impact versions for the cardio, and we're going to have different variations for strength too in terms of challenge. So Tommy's showing the uh, advanced version for our push-ups. He's going to speed up on the bench, changing the angle of the push-up and creating a lot more challenge this way. I'm going to show our beginner variation with the hands on the bench and coming down. Now remember, you don't have to come through full range of motion. You might just work the top end of your push-up. And if you have something soft to put your knees on, you could always place your knees down too for another little way to make things easier. So for our cardio component on this block, um, we're going to be showing low impact variation, which is the step up, step down. Uh, on this one, Tommy's going to make sure that he switches his lead foot so he's not always traveling to the top of the bench with the left leg, say. Sometimes he's coming up with the right leg and that's going to help keep things balanced. I'm going to show a higher impact variation for those of you that maybe are a little bit more advanced or have been doing the workout for a while. So for block three, we're going to be working a single leg press up versus mountain climbers. So we're going to go left leg up on top of the step, good. and then we want to drive through the left foot and press all the way up to stand, nice and soft on the land, and then back up again. We're going to break our round up, so 30 seconds dedicated to left side, 30 seconds dedicated to the right side. Let's switch it up on this one. So for our cardio component, sorry. So for our cardio component in this block, uh, we're going to be doing mountain climbers. So we're going to place hands onto the bench. We want to really work to keep our spine nice and straight, and then we're going to bring our knee up, do a shy of the bench, and exchange through to the other side. So 
Tommy's going to be doing the advanced version of the tricep dip exercise. When he sets up, he's going to have his legs extended out, and that's going to make the movement a lot more challenging. I'm going to be having my knees bent, and that's going to show the easier variation of it. We both want to work on keeping our chest lifted, keeping our body relatively close to the bench, and protecting our shoulders by squeezing shoulder blades together. You want to come down, get a nice deep flexion in the elbows, and come through to full extension, watching that we're not hyperextending at the top of the movement. So Tommy's going to be demonstrating the lower impact variation of our bench burpee movement. Um, he's going to go through the full range of motion and just do a jump in the air opposed to coming up to the bench. I'm going to be showing the full advanced variation where we're actually incorporating the bench um, with both hands and feet. Block five, we're going to be working on side plank pose versus our cardio component. Tommy's going to show the side plank pose, just the basic variation, and I'm going to give you an option for an advanced movement. So he's making sure to stack his legs and keep the thighs pressed tight together, push the forearm down into the bench, and maintain a nice straight line throughout the body with the hips raising. To advance the movement, set up in the same way, and then add in a little hip lift, lifting up and feeling a little bit more work happening through the obliques on the bottom side of the body. Alright, so our low impact variation of cardio will be demonstrated by Tommy on this um, sequence. He's going to be doing out, out, in footwork, um, getting nice and low into squat position and building on his foot speed as he gets more coordinated with the movement really working to keep head up, chest up as he goes through the movement. A higher impact variation is going to look like this, feet up wide, touch the bench and come together, here and back up. Head stays up, chest stays up and again we can pick up foot speed too as we get more comfortable with the movement. In our final block we're going to be working on plank pose. Um, you have the option of coming down to the knees if you want to or working off of the toes. Um, you might also choose to place your hands down or be on your forearms for this one. Tom is going to be showing the low impact variation of our cardio and I'm going to show a higher impact variation for you guys to try too. And don't forget to stay hydrated.